I, I kind of did want to talk about uh, just that. That was a terrible start. That was a terrible start to the game. Yeah. But, uh, probably one of the worst first halves I've seen the Lakers have in the playoffs so far. Um, they just looked lazy. It was no effort. Um, a lot of people just – when it came to – I mean – and in a sense, it was a lose lose for them in this in the situation when they was doing that pick and roll between Murray and, and Jokic. Oh, Every yeah. time AD helped off, Jokic taking full advantage. Like I don't think he missed. Every time they gave him the ball with that with the disadvantage, I don't think he missed not one of those shots. But then at AD stay, Murray was not missing either. Mm-hmm. And the way that, I think I don't know I don't know if this was the game plan. They were supposed to go under the screen or over the screen, but I'm like, dude, y'all not playing. Y'all are not playing the Golden State Warriors no more. Like it's a <laughs> lot of other it's a lot of other weapons that they can go to outside of just, oh, if you do get through the if you do so happen to play the screen right, oh, well, let me hit you with plan B then. Let me drive and kick, or let me drop or, or let me just do um what's it called have Jokic out at the three and just have a hope and fear doing off ball screens. And one of y'all gonna get caught slipping, and it it was always either D'Lo or Reeves getting caught slipping. Say, so, I think I think y'all did find something towards the end of the game. I liked uh, how who- they put AD on on what's called Aaron Gordon, and they put Rui on on what's it called on Jokic because they gave Jokic the idea that he had a mismatch. But every time he tried to go up, AD was right there. And the one thing I um. The one thing that really stood out to me was them closing minutes mm-hmm. in the fourth quarter. Because Jokic was getting frustrated. He had two um, key turnovers that could – it could have re- it, it could have resulted in, in really a loss for them. But, I mean, LeBron with that dumb, um, that dumb shot that he took. And not only just that, though, but, I mean, um, even though they, they did have over. two – even he turned it over too. too, right after that. But, oh Even though he had, uh, and that really wasn't LeBron's fault. Reeves was out of control. We're not, and just yeah. handing him the ball off to LeBron. <laughs> and LeBron, like what? The, like he couldn't even get the ball. He was fumbling with it by the by the, the crazy pass. And that's, I didn't like Reeves with the ball in his hand. If that not not from that perspective, like not not in that situation. I wanted him more of a spot up situation. So when he got the ball and started trying to go off the dribble, I was like. The play was sloppy from the jump. I, I didn't uh, like that play that they had I, at the end. I, I didn't. I didn't mind Reeves having the ball in his hands because he made. He'd be making some nice plays. I think he had like eight assists. Didn't he? Have like How many assists? plays have we seen Reeves make in, in under a minute off the dribble? Oh yeah, no, quarter? not. But LeBron we haven't seen that yet. Two we, minutes too, though. LeBron final two minutes was bad too. Hey, he was getting Reeves. to the line. Reeves third and fourth quarter were actually good, so I didn't mind it because he was on the road. If it we wasn't for gonna, Reeves, y'all wouldn't have got. We're not, we not going. We're not going to sit here like LeBron and eighty was not the people that was that driving force on that comeback. Like once, Bro, once the, Reeves had twenty three points. Reeves, know, so Reeves won. I know what you're saying. I know, I know what you're stretch. saying, but I'm saying LeBron mm. was the one orchestrating that offense. Eighty was the one that was dominating on, for on the scoring end all game. But LeBron was the one who was actually out there as the facilitator. He was getting to the line. He was the one hitting open. Uh, what's it called getting open looks for people. LeBron, right? What you're not realizing, LeBron had the presence. That, just his presence out there was also just. We got to keep our eyes on LeBron. Because one thing, LeBron, I'm, the first I remember when um, when Lakers got down early, and LeBron ca- got back in the game. The, LeBron literally got the ball on the three. Drove to the hole, layup. I'm like, why can't they just? Why, why is it so hard to realize that the, that that's that's gonna be their bread and butter this series? Drive on them. Their paint defense is not that great. Hey, I think uh, the Nuggets had more blocks than uh, than the Lakers did this game. Jokic, see, bro, y- y'all can say what y'all want about Jokic, but I've been seeing it all year, right? Jokic is not that bad of a defender. That nigga clamped Anthony Davis more than Anthony Davis clamped him. And you were saying that he didn't have most of his points on Anthony Davis. Man, that nigga was cooking Anthony Davis, bro. He was cooking that boy, man. 
He hit that nigga with multiple threes. He hit that nigga with mid range floaters. He hit that nigga with goddamn. He spit off him and dunked on that dude, man. You were trying to you because I wasn't. I, I didn't watch the game up until that point, and you was trying to. Man, he didn't have most of them points on eight. He had a lot of them points on AD, bro. He did. He was cooking him to the point where he had to. Darvin Ham had to make a whole adjustment and be like, "Hey, we finna do this. We finna put a heart tumor on him. So AD, you can just try to protect the rim on help side." He was cooking that boy, man. And it's just that's just the cold hard facts. I mean, he a great player. He one of the greatest offensive players I done seen in terms of just everything he can do offensively from offensive rebounds, shooting, scoring in the low post, passing. Like Jokic is a dominant offensive player, so I can't blame AD. AD was playing great defense for what it was, but you know what they say: great offense be great defense. So it is what it is. But a lot of them points was on him, Ray. You was trying to make it seem like it wasn't. It was. AD was giving it. I can know, literally, I can literally, hand, I can literally handpick those plays you're talking about. You trying to make it seem like half of those points came from, uh, half his points came from. Oh yeah, I was just cooking AD. No, half his points came from in the first half when he was when AD was out there on the perimeter, and he was get out rebounding the Lakers guards, and he was just going right back up with him. Make, am I lying? No, but his, so what are you talking about? When he had. So, you're talking about so maybe, when they was one on one, maybe, but you talking about maybe seven plays he was one on one against AD out of the whole game. Nigga, he only made like twelve shots, Ray. Who you talking about? Jokic. He was like twelve okay. for nineteen or something like that. He didn't take a lot of shots, but I'm saying the ones he did take on AD. AD had that one block on him, and I'm not saying AD played bad defense, but I'm saying Jokic's great offense beat Anthony Davis' great defense multiple times. And then he hit him in, with that buzzer beater, bro, in his eyeball. Like, come on now. That other catch and shoot three. Man. The other midi floaty. <laughs> he he spent off of him and dunked the basketball. What like, come on, man. Just give the dude his props. That's my thing with you. Like, come on, bro. And um, I like this, 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 like this is the problem. This is the problem. Um it's it's a well known book from our, our childhood called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, he gonna ask for a glass of milk. Translation: If you give somebody a yard, they gonna get, they gonna take it a mile, and that's what you do. I give somebody props, and you want to just keep on just piling on. I'm like, dude, I, I didn't say anything bad about Jokic. You want me to say, oh man, no, you gotta bow down. This get like, dude, this game one, he had a great performance. He had a continued great performance that he's been having throughout all throughout the playoffs. But you trying to make it seem like it was one sided, like them other series? No, it wasn't. And they, man, you acting like they just had a dominant show when they had a dominant first half. But we're not about to act like in that second half, um, Mike Malone wasn't over there pissed. We ain't gonna act like we ain't gonna act like Jokic almost choked the game on way at the end. We're not gonna act like that. I mean, you ain't wrong. Bruce okay, Brown let's was get cooking into, all let's... Bruce Brown was cooking all game, talking crazy. Fourth quarter coming in the last in the clutch minutes. That's what, like, bro. When I when I see certain people talking crazy, I'm like, dude, Lakers don't even talk. That's the crazy part. Some people they be so happy to finally just have a great performance. They can't wait to say something. I didn't even see Murray talking. This dude Bruce Brown out there talking. I'm like, come on, man. How you feel about the role players? Cause I feel like, uh, well, I'm I'm not gonna say role players. I'm gonna say lineups. What was the, some of the lineups you do that you did like and want to see more? And who do you think can play in this series? And who do you think probably should get less minutes in this series? Like I said, and people people try to kill me for saying this, but Vanderbilt is going to have to play. I don't care about what he don't provide offensively. We seen firsthand that our defense was getting exposed. I mean, our best defenders need to be out there. And that's just all it is to it. Lonnie Walker is another person that's gonna have to his his minutes gonna I think D'Lo's minutes and Schroeder's minutes gonna have to decrease this series, and Van, and Vanderbilt and um what's it called Lonnie's is gonna have to increase. I understand I, I when they uh, went to Game Six with Warriors, and they decided, oh, we're gonna start Schroeder this game. Okay, yeah, that's cool. We're not playing Warriors no more. So Schroeder, <laughs> I don't even know why Schroeder's even a starter. No, I was surprised. When you, nah, Schroeder has I, some good minutes. He has some good catch and shoot no, threes. No, nope, he plays mm-hmm. some good. I don't want to hear it. Nope. I'd rather him play than D'Lo. 
I don't want to hear it. All right, so, so who, who both of them need to be dropping? Him? That's what I'm saying. So, so you just want to go Reeves? We need our bigger guards LeBron, out there, and we need our Hachimura, Vanderbilt, and eighty. Uh, I the only time I really want um that lineup out there. So I don't feel like that closing lineup y'all had. That was a good lineup. Who's in that closing lineup? I can't remember. But that was the y'all best lineup of the game. AD, LeBron, had... Reeves, um, what's I Rui, remember. and I think Vanderbilt. And then I know uh, Reeves, I know right I know right before the closing minutes, I know Shooter was out there for a little bit. And even um what's it called Lunny um was out there. But when it came down to okay, like this is crunch time, um, Rui and Vanderbilt was out there. With um Reeves, LeBron, AD. That nigga ticket was killing Anthony Davis, bro. It that makes no ticket. sense. Eighty, like eighty. I don't understand. I didn't watch it, but anytime at this point, if if the Lakers don't half. win, eighty he had, he had two rebounds in the first half, though. Yeah, that was nasty. He only had ten rebounds for the game, and I I want to see him always. I, I want him always to have fifteen plus in every game. That's what he's been doing just about all playoffs. I'm like, bro, we need your rebounding. Facts. Like, you are our best rebounder. You and LeBron. Like, so. Y'all transition I mean, defense was terrible, too. Like, that should be. I've been, it, saying, be I've been talking about that all, I've been talking about that all year. I mean, I've been talking about that all season. All year, really. Like, even even before the trade, we we was one of the bit, um, worst, um, what's it called, transition defenses. And it just, it continued even after the trade. And, like, even though we got better, but. That didn't that didn't make us no better in that. In that I, I don't or. get it. What is it? Y'all got the I, to me. Y'all got one of the best half court defenses I done seen in the playoffs for sure, for sure. But the transition, it's know. like it's it don't make no damn sense. What make, I, what, I get what LeBron, makes, LeBron. What makes it crazy is Vanderbilt is an uh, athletic um, defender. Uh, Lunny is an athletic defender. Bron has always he done made. It. A career out of being a great uh, transition defender. Um, I'm like AD. You you supposed to be an all world defense talent. I don't see how we got four guys out there that are athletic on the defensive side. And I don't see how I only see LeBron get. I, I see LeBron get the most effort in transition out of all those. And Facts. LeBron only do that on a consistent basis. Facts. That's the crazy part. I'm like, Lonnie, you are young. Vanderbilt, you are young. AD, you and still can fly. Like, you still, you still have they can fly. Like you said, they have like, they can fly. I don't get it. I don't get it, but keep going. I've seen, I seen, I seen a man in a Warriors series. This is when I said, yeah, Lonnie, you, you, you good on defense, but it's still some things that still need tuning. This dude let Steph Curry go up on him, and he didn't even attempt to try to block it. Yeah, it be shit like that, bro. But I seen oh. like, but hey, yes, like I said yesterday, like I said though, in the on the, uh, the messages though, the, that key adjustment though uh, that they made on defense was with um just having AD as a roamer and having Rui on on Jokic. I think that's um that's what they need to stick with. But I don't see how you not saying that means AD can't guard the man. <laughs> no, <laughs> that means. Me- no, that's not what that's that means. That's what it means. If you ask, if you actually watch the game, because this happened exactly I like it. that. It's exactly how it happened when they played them on what's called the bubble. Eighty couldn't guard him because guess what? They got too they got too many different type of sets going. Yeah. And that pick and roll, eighty, they're literally putting eighty in a pick and roll because they know, oh man, the reason why Golden State couldn't uh, couldn't uh, what's called take advantage of that because look who was setting the screens. Draymond and Looney, those guys are not the offensive player that Jokic is. When you have two people that's equally yoked out of Jokic and Murray, you can, a like man, I just gotta pick my poison here. If I don't step out on this screen, cause I know I know whoever this is coming around this screen ain't gonna fight through it in time, and I do step out. Murray just gonna dish it right back to Jokic. If I stay here, Jokic is gonna hey, Jokic is gonna set that screen right. 
That's hey, one thing I will say about Yoshi. Reed, Yoshi. He was bro, Reeves was having a tough time navigating them motherfuckers too, man. Reeves was having a tough time Yoki, navigating bro. them Yoki screens. Yoki's lets people know that he's 280. Yeah. Bro, that's why I, it was never a question, him or B. It was never a question. I hate that it was a question, bro. People are so fake. I don't see how you can watch basketball and, and think Embiid is on the same level as Jokic, even though he did get on the it's, ass one on one. I mean, yeah, but um, it's just one of those things, though, man. Um, Jokic lets the game just come to him. Like that's that's how he is as a nat, like naturally as a player, he lets the game come to him. Embiid, on the other hand, he go out there and try to take the game. Hmm. That can win you some games, but it also can lose you some games. So, so especially okay, when I, you, especially okay. when you're not exactly who you think you are. Oh, uh, now this this is this is a question that I have. I want you to take your Lakers bias out of it. If Jokic do get past the Lakers, I, you remember what I said? I said I felt like the the Nuggets was gonna win by seven to twelve points in Game One, <laughs> but still was gonna lose the series in six or seven. So I still feel that the Lakers are gonna win the series. But if the Nuggets do pull this off, and let's say Jokic win in the finals, get the finals MVP, would you be comfortable with saying he's better than Giannis just based off, like, the player you've seen from uh, Jokic and his improvement on defense? I feel like he played a great if game Jokic on defense, If Jokic completes too. this run, he's automatically the, the best in the league. Forget about just being over Giannis. He's the best in the league at this point. Until somebody try to dethrone him. You can't have a season he done had. You can't be number one in your conference just about the – like, you dumb in your conference just about the whole season. Then you come in the – then you come into the playoffs and you dominate even more. And you and you end up winning the whole thing, capped off with a finals MVP. It ain't going to be no – I mean, it can be some debating, but it's going to be shallow. Okay, on the flip side, let's 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 talk about AD because I ain't gonna stunt, man. AD second half, it was like I was like, damn. And so he already had like, a great first half, but uh, other than the rebound, oh my god, really the offense like scoring wise, he was aggressive. I liked it. Um, he had fifteen shots in the first half. I remember, I, I remember one game against Wars, he had like six shots in the first half, and Shrekin them wasn't having it, so. Um, but in that second half, he had 22 points. So, my thing with AD, you know how I feel about AD when it comes to the second halves and fourth quarters. I feel like the he best second half I've seen him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, easily. And I, I just feel like if he can keep this up, and if he can stay consistent in this series, I feel like the narrative around him go change. Man, he get to another finals. And he's clearly better than LeBron now. Clearly better than LeBron. Like the fact, the gap between him and Le- people not even talking about it, right? The gap between him and LeBron has gotten so wide. It's like, man, LeBron still do his thing, and he control. Like I like how LeBron ends quarters. I don't know if nobody notices, but LeBron ends every quarter like he with a burst. Like he saves enough for the t- in his tank. For that fourth, that that last couple minutes in every quarter he's in to end the quarter off strong for the Lakers, and that's that's such a big thing to end quarters like that. So I do like that about LeBron, but that fourth quarter, them last two minutes, man, I'm disappointed in LeBron, man. Like it, it just, I don't know. I feel like he got to kind of just. I want him to play more point guard. I want him to set people up. I want him to get shooters involved. I want him to get AD involved because that's how they go win. Like, I want them to even – if if they start D-Lo again in game two and we go get to our game two predictions, I want them to go to D-Lo. Get him involved in the offense. Like, let him see some shots fall. Because if D-Lo get going and if Reeves can stay as a catch-and-shoot player – because the, the difference between the Lakers' second half and the first half, Reeves was hitting shots in that second half, especially that third quarter. Them catch-and-shoots where they was, like, trapping the ball – and it was the quick pass to uh, Reeves. Bro, it, mm-hmm. it felt like he hit like three or four in a row. Didn't he go on a 9-0 run by himself, I think? It was something like that. And I was just like, if he can keep that up and if D-Lo can find any offensive 
offensive game. I uh, and then yeah, and then the Nuggets were just hitting crazy shots too. So it was like, man, I feel like like the Lakers, they should feel good, even though they lost. They should feel a little bit good. I mean, it was a, it was a, a better loss than what it would have been. Anything you uh want to say before we get to our game two predictions, and then we get to the the Heat Celtics. Um, Chris said, Chris said, um, shoot the link. You said what? No, I'm saying Chris has said shoot the link. Oh uh, shit! I already put it in there. And which Chris is there? Oh damn! I don't think I, I don't think I invited nobody. <laughs> damn, my bad. But, but no, I, I would link like, pinned I, in the comments, and I had sent it on email. Um, going going into next game, I would start D Lo. I would too. Them first couple minutes, if he ain't got it going, I reel him back. I come <laughs> to the bench. Um, Vanderbilt go in, mm-hmm. but I want to see. I want to see. I want to see Rui start the next game instead of uh, Schroeder. So Schroeder start. Schroeder did start game one, right? Yep. I don't mind Schroeder playing good minutes, but yeah, I'll start Rui. But I feel. Vanderbilt, I feel like Schroeder. Uh, Vanderbilt, like I said, Vanderbilt and Walker gonna have to get more minutes. Lonnie, yeah, Vanderbilt possibly, but Vanderbilt. And like, who, well, we, so we gonna act like we are we gonna act like Vanderbilt and play a huge role in Murray on um, what's called stinking up that fourth quarter. I think I think man, because I was hearing theories that LeBron was getting to him because LeBron kept bodying Murray, man. That was and I feel like that, that was probably on took offense. A toll. But I'm, I'm saying I feel like that probably took a toll on. Him. Like he probably, they probably wore him down. What the, what they got to do the first three quarters then? Why was he still cooking those quarters? Because LeBron's doing that all game. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened to the Nuggets in that fourth quarter. Really, to be honest, I feel like the, I feel like the Lakers just kind of turned it up, turned it up on defense in that fourth quarter. And I feel and, like, and, just... and let's say, let's say LeBron on um, that finally did get to him. I'm pretty sure having even a bigger body out of Vanderbilt versus having um what's it called Schroeder. Slash Reeves and D'Lo on you is is ain't it's 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 the effectiveness is 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 much higher. I do feel like Vanderbilt would chase off them 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 Jokic and Murray screens. I feel like them them little peak and roll things that they do the two man game. I feel like Vanderbilt would do better in that than anybody on the Lakers because he he just so long athletic and he goes around them like navigate screens pretty well. So I I do like him in those situations. I done seen I done seen throughout the playoffs, even when they set a set a perfect screen, he'll run around the screen and still get a block. Yeah, I done seen it. So I mean it's the offensive end. It ain't got nothing to do with the defense, bro. We know we know bro can play defense, fam, but it's like bro. That's why you put him out there with other uh, uh, what's called four offensive guys that's also solid okay. defenders. So so give me a Vanderbilt lineup that you would like. To see, because it got to be the one that finished. The one that finished. So what was that? It was uh, it was Reeves, it was a big. Run. The smallest guy out there was Reeves. Huh. And we uh, can see, we can see, we can see Reeves and LeBron um go back and forth with with the point guard duties. We can see Hachimura how his one on one opportunities with smaller um guys. I'm just gonna say that, yeah. Vanderbilt can just on um, what's it called? Can, um, Sit what's picks called? all day. Sit picks that, all game, man. What man? Him and Hachimura are the same size when it comes to height wise. Hot man, AD was hitting on um, what's it called? Hachimura on them back doors. Hachimura going straight up with a two hand dunk. Vanderbilt would have went up. Vanderbilt, I heard when he went up. He trying to pump fake and pass it back to. I'm like, dude, if you don't go up, like, bro, like, come on, man. Okay, let's talk about the let's let's talk about the Nuggets side before we move on real quick. Game two, is there any adjustments the Nuggets can make that you that you thinking about? Like anything you want to see from the Nuggets? Any lineups or any just anything from the Nuggets? Mm. To be honest, Aaron Gordon, um, 
the, the main reason why they defense was as effective as it was, if people want to admit it or not, was because Aaron Gordon wasn't giving uh, Jokic enough um, room to work with to ha- expose the one-on-one between him and Rui. Aaron Gordon is literally sitting baseline right outside the paint. Right there on the block. AD said, oh, <laughs> my hand is on your jersey and I'm also in the paint. Soon when, soon when Jokic commits to driving, all I have to do, I really only have to fully step over. I can try to bait him into And that's how Jokic threw that first turnover. AD baited him. But guess what? Aaron Gordon has to step out. Even, even if you ain't shooting that great from three, you got to keep the defense honest. Like, and even if you don't want to step out to the three, at least step out in a deep mid-range. Like, I feel like that's something that they can um, offensively, if if Lakers do go back to that, like, okay, yeah, from the jump, okay, yeah, we're going to have 80 on on Gordon and um, and Hachimura on, on Jokic. I think that's um, that's something that they can do better with. Okay, okay. But other than so that, people- I mean – Hey, man, I want to see some Zeke Najee. I want to see some Zeke Najee. I want to see more of uh, uh, because he he can rim protect a little bit, shoot a little bit, and he got some height on him. I just feel like they was playing too many small guards with their second unit, the Nuggets. Uh, game two predictions Lakers versus Nuggets. Who you got? Mm, I think we're going back to LA 1 1. I think it's mm-hmm. gonna be down to the wire again. Though. Might even see an overtime. Uh, I got ah, man. Lakers look so good to close, but then again, man, I can't count on AD having another forty. He ain't been. I don't even think. I don't, game that's the, I don't even think. I don't think AD has to like even have to go for forty again. To be honest, nobody even had AD coming in game one scoring 30 points. Let's just be real. I did. Nobody probably even had him going for 25. People out there, people, you know, people love to doubt on the Lakers, especially AD. Hmm. So, I mean, I don't even, man. I think the, I think the Lakers, uh, some strange reason, I think the Lakers are going to get game two. They usually get game one, but we, all, we already knew that the Nuggets was a good game one team, too, especially yeah. at home. So, I think the I think the Lakers are a good uh road team just based off history and I think they're gonna get at least one on the road and they already dropped game one. So I do think they, they can get game two. And then I feel like they found something with their rotations. There's one thing about Darvin Ham I do like. He find rotations he like, and then the people that he don't really want to play, he keep them in they in their rotations, but he just less in their minutes. <laughs> so that's one thing I, I like about what he do. So we'll that's see. That's <laughs> Sometimes it almost be like he checked his phone to see people talking about, man, Darvin Ham coaching is just, man, why he ain't doing this? Because so, soon we start criticizing him, he make an adjustment. He's like, oh, that was a pretty good adjustment. I want to see more of that. But, and he just I mean, a year one coach. He a rookie coach too, y'all. So And say, yeah, as far as a head coach. Head coach. Um, so you do – you gotta remember he was on a championship um roster as a as an assistant coach. But no, um Not I think we're gonna see a more balanced all offense from Lakers instead of just one person dominating up until the second half. Okay. And if they, you gotta say, Chris, about this uh Lakers versus Nuggets game one before we move on. <clears throat> Uh, they got to figure out what to do about that boy Murray. Oh, uh, shit. They can't, they can't do nothing with him, in my opinion. They ain't going to have to, in my opinion. I mean, I just – I don't feel like – because I, I like that switch that they made, that they did instead of actually having AD as a primary defender. He was just a help defender and putting Rui on him. I just think if, if, if Rui can get away with not committing so many fouls, he'll be all right. That I was think you play thing. that shit, man. I feel like you play that shit a whole game and just swap out Gordon for Green, so Gordon uh won't be just clogging the paint like Ray was saying. Man, then they go kill Rui, man. Like I, we, I, I, I wouldn't mind him trying to just because it worked. 
But if they if they just yeah, I mean you you gonna have to keep trying it because I mean we see they was we saw how much they was down by and they made that switch and it it was it was working, but um and I and man that boy D'Lo got to give me some man. I just think this might be a bad. I just think I I think this might be a bad matchup for him. Oh, Tillin rated. I was like, man, as he was going, I was like, man, this might not be the series. Yeah, bro. I was looking at it. I was like, I, I this might just be a bad sort of like a matchup, like the, the big bodies they could throw. Because, you know, Golden State was a smaller team. You got Jamal. Because how, how tall is D-Lo? By like what? 6'4"? 6'5". Six, 6'5". Five. Six, five. Jamal Murray, what? 6'4"? 6'4". Six, six, oh, mm-hmm. He's the smallest. He's he the shortest one on the team. Mm-hmm. So... Aaron Gordon, MPJ, bro, it's it's some big niggas he got to deal with, bro. He's too small. He is too small. You got some game two predictions before we talk about the Celtics Heat? Um, part of me feel like LeBron probably going to come a little bit more up pace in the first half and just trying to get his pace going. Uh, he probably gonna do that. Well, first quarter, let me say that he probably gonna probably gonna have a good first quarter. Then you know, pace itself and probably try to close in the fourth. You know what I'm saying? And uh, cause I just, I mean, as far as Denver, they they hold starting. Like everybody had uh, had double double figures. Except, excuse me, except for Aaron Gordon, they didn't even they weren't asking him to score for the most part. Aaron Gordon had had double figures too. Twelve, he like nah, two. what? Nah, I don't think he had double figures. I think he had like eight or something like that. He was the only one I think that had double figures. Mm-hmm. But I like I know we was talking about the matchup for the Lakers, but I, this is looked like a, a this this looking bad. MPJ like I'm t- I'm looking MPJ one dribble uh side step shot. It small. ain't take it's not taking much. I told it's you not, right. When it's not taking MPJ. it's just not I'm just saying it's just not taking much. Oh, just calm down. It's about time. <laughs> Whoa there, buddies. Whoa, no, Whoa no, there, buddy. Oh, that, that, that boy always had one game out of every series. He just watched the game one his time. That was Chris because I was like, MPJ going to be the X factor. He's the X factor. It wasn't the scoring. It was the rebounds. He had, I think he had double-digit rebounds. He had a couple I blocks. I still say the scoring. No, and that, and that, and that first, and that first, and that first quarter, though, he established himself for his scoring. Now, for the rest of the game, he started doing. He kind of, yeah, he kind of. The first fell quarter, off he them. came out. He yeah. came out pretty high. That's when he was making all them. That boy looking like prime Miller for a second. That boy took one dribble pull up midi. I'm like, bro, what? This dude ain't. Yeah, I ain't all, never seen this dude do doing. this. That's he all was he out was there doing. Cooking that first catch the, quarter. Catch the ball, one dribble, side step, step back, shoot. He 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 wasn't doing too much. He wasn't thinking. He was just shooting the ball. So. I mean, I, I ain't going to sit here and say that he just the X factor just yet after one game, but I did like how he played, so let's see if he can do it again. That's my whole thing. Can he do it again? Can he be a solid third option during the whole series? Because, again, we already said, who did it look like it was? It looked like it was Aaron Gordon, and don't nobody look at him as a scorer, but I don't think they're really even asking him to score because I don't think Aaron Gordon, I believe, I might be wrong, but double-check me, I don't even think he had double digits. I think he had eight points. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Like, Jokic had double figures. Clearly, Murray had double digits. Uh, 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 MPJ was in double figures. KCP was in double figures. They had like four or five dudes in double figures. But what uh, they can you can, but you cannot. Yeah, they are you cannot. Yeah, but Aaron Gordon didn't hit double, did he? Yeah, he had twelve points. Oh, he had twelve. But yeah, man. But the one thing that they cannot do, they cannot allow Jokic just to do whatever the hell he wants in the first quarter of the game. You got to either make I mean, him a passer or a scorer. You can't let him do both. They let him do both. They were letting him do everything. He had he was getting offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, passing it to open shooters. And as far as that, and I was listening earlier, bro. That transition defense, bro. Like if you go back and really just look at that game, it's it's. What is the main thing I say that I want from a play uh, for somebody to do on defense? You ain't even got to be, but as long as you show me, they weren't showing it. Why is LeBron James the only nigga darting down the floor? The only one darting. I'm talking literally shot go in and he is sprinting down the floor. He's the only one. 
Everybody was just sitting there coasting, just looking and wondering why they're getting blue by all the time. And I think we were doing like our preview, and we were saying that we was looking up the the, the team rankings. I be telling y'all sometimes some of that should be true, man. Niggas said they was like the second or third worst transition defense. I think like fifth. Bro, it's worst. literally it's all effort day. It's effort. effort. They literally just see they they see a miss, they see a make, and then they just coast back on defense. Like no niggas ain't just gonna try to. And that's what literally mm-hmm. they was doing. Like you go back and watch, Denver was literally running. For a good stretch of that game, every time if a shot go in or if it's a, a miss or a make, guess what they doing? Everybody is running down the floor trying to go I think, back I think, and flip I think the that's ball that's, in the that's, hole. That's some Jokic shit too, though, because Jokic hurry up try to get the ball and then get it inbounds, mm-hmm. or he hurry up get he a rebound and try it. to run. So a lot of and that is Jokic too. He forced. The yeah, but on bro, him. if we know if we can see it here sitting watching that's on TV, true. I know they see it. That's my whole thing. Like y'all, what's your what's what's your game two predictions, Chris? Uh, I feel like the Lakers are even up because if they go down 2-0, I don't see, I don't see them winning four of the next six. They got to win this next one and then hopefully split the next two just because I, man, ugh, if they don't do something about that, uh, that pick and roll between Jokic and Murray, then shit, this shit going to be over in five. Oh, damn. Bro, they they did you see uh, in the point of time where you were just confident in saying they stopped that pick and roll? Um, I wouldn't. The the fourth quarter, I feel like when they went to a bigger lineup, because I feel like they they had a too small of a lineup. Because I we talked about it in our preview show that the the guards is not like like we were saying it's not the Warriors series. Denver got the same size guards and they can score and they can defend. So it's like. <laughs> Once the Lakers just matched the size, I feel like it, it, it became a closer game. Found some shit I love to do, so I can look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I will never quit. 